We're out with smoke busters in Beijing, patrolling places where smokers might lurk. It's not long before we find our first smokers, despite their efforts to stub out the evidence. They're busted and led back into their office. Yes, I was wrong, one of them tells us. This time they're let off a possible $70 fine, given a warning and an advice leaflet. His friend isn't happy. Just another day for Liu Li and his team. A university art lecturer, he gives up a couple of days a week of free time to do this. One of several thousand volunteers working in the capital with the authority to enter any office on the hunt for smokers. A license to snoop, some may think, but he's just doing his job, one that he loves. I've always been against the smoking, trying to convince my family and friends to quit for their health. And this job allows me to do it officially and spread the message even wider. Our patrol continues all through this stairwell. We can smell smoke on pretty much every level. We see cigarette ends, some of them still smoldering. The trick is catching people in the act. But these guys are pretty expert at sniffing out the smokers. The day's tally is mounting. Not hard in a country where more than half of all men smoke. That's nearly 7 billion cigarettes a day. The number of Chinese dying from smoking-related diseases has climbed to more than a million a year. In Beijing, the ban on smoking indoors in public buildings such as offices, train stations and restaurants has forced smokers out into the open. Other Chinese cities may also impose bans. If we can promote Beijing's successful campaign across the country, this will benefit everyone. And just to make sure everyone benefits, there'll often be a volunteer lurking around the corner. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Beijing.